God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But a generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasya tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation, we offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end. Brief answer, I have introduced to us, and I did again on Sunday, the operations of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is proof that God does deploy into many facets and that God does deploy into uh, with many faces so that the Holy Spirit can find expression in the stadium he can find expression in your kitchen he can find expression in your classroom he can find expression in the mechanic workshop but he's still the same Holy Spirit it means that God can clothe a man a man in as many garments as possible Actually, your wiring as a man is um, designed for multi-expressions. I am my wife's pastor, for example. I am my wife's husband. It means I qualify also as her lover. I am her priest. I am her friend. I am her son's father. I am also her daddy. So, I am many things to her. And that's how we were shaped. If the God who deploys us is multifaceted in existence and expression, it means that man is. How does God sustain balance? It is by his essence. His spirit. And that same spirit has been given to us. In the day you require balance, you will need to know him as the spirit of balance. And like I said on Sunday, the Holy Spirit is not just the administrator of divine reality. He is divine reality. So the Holy Spirit is not just the spirit of balance. The Holy Spirit is balance. So the reality of balance is hosted in fellowship with the spirit of balance. You see, there are verses of scripture that have been rendered simply to help us solve very complex situations. One of those verses that I find very easy when the complexities around our human expression begin to manifest is Romans chapter 8 verse 14. Let's read. For as many as are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God it means that when God wants to establish your sonship amongst the many tools of establishment another stronger word in this case for establishment is validation that if three of you say what are the sons of God one of the major ways we will know that you are of God as his son is that you will be led by the spirit the one who has chosen to be permanently obedient to the leadings of the spirit will not labor around balance because it means that the Holy Spirit will choose your seasons, he will choose your current expressions it is the one who will say be this, stop be that, stop, be that and because he is balanced he means he cannot lead contrary to balance so John is a minister of the gospel you know Abina John is a student Abi John is um, a son in the house Abi to your parents you are a sibling to your siblings you are a friend to your friends are you in a relationship now? I'm very social Amen John will soon be a lover to a particular person. You have only 24 hours every day 
to manifest all those facets of your existence. The only way to get balance is to look for balance. And balance is not a reality, it's a person. When you find him, live by his instructions. You will need to ask many questions and with very, you know, much frequency to you to gain balance. Lord, what am I supposed to be doing now? Have you asked that question again before to do before to do this bit? What am I supposed to be doing now? Because I went to one meeting. Somebody said, How do you prepare for summons? How do you have fellowship? I think it was when I went to Kano. Lagos to Kano is over one hour flight, maybe almost two hours. And you are saying, How did I arrive here ready? Ah, oh, two hours. I know that that time is not to sleep. That time is not to ask you, is Kano hot? Is it cold? It's not my business. So I go for a meeting, I arrive. They say, will you fall asleep? I say, why? So that, you know, you rest, you now pray, you now eat. I say, no, I can minister now. I say, well, I say but the road. Oh, the road is not a trap, it's a gift. Because there is one who can instruct. And I'm not saying I don't sleep on my journey. So say I'm not worried at all. I sleep. But I will study. I will listen. No, am I supposed to be reading? Say rest. And at that point, no matter how guilty you make me feel. Oh, he giveth his beloved sweet sleep. I will sleep. I found a way I can use the back. Or stay beside the window and hang my head. I found a way to keep my head at rest even when the car is vibrating. I'll sleep. Because at that time, sleep is the most accurate thing to do. So if you enter a relationship, for example, I'm just using this example for secular things. If you enter a relationship, you shouldn't be calling the young lady during your prayer time. But you shouldn't be praying when you should be checking on her. I know to you prayer is superior to checking on her but because God led you into that relationship there is a time when praying is wrong for you I'm not saying prayer is wrong don't quote me I'm saying that prayer is wrong for you because the correct activity for every time is what he led you to do not what you think you should be doing that's how a balanced life is found so the answer is yes a multifaceted God multifacetedly deploys people even in the secular but how we balance is to live by balance which is the spirit of balance the Holy Ghost that's how to survive it's still a call to fellowship because if you say what should we do now and you can't hear what he's saying it means you adopt anything and good is not good if it is not commanded Amen God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But the generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia Tabo, Mecca Baba, Kamande Kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want the generation. We offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end.